Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to do the arcade merge, which went away for a while but now it's back. As you can see, I'm using the Mark II Oppressor for this one. You will need a nightclub garage, an arcade garage, and a vehicle warehouse. You will also need to know how to do job teleports, but if you don't, do refer down to the link in the description and it will teach you exactly that. So I'm starting off with the Mark II Oppressor. You can start off with any vehicle you want, it doesn't really matter. The Oppressor just allows me to fly, which makes things a little bit faster. So when you're ready, just bring your vehicle out of the nightclub and then make your way to the LS car meet. I'm just going to park on the roof and enter straight from here. Now once you're inside, make your way to the test track vehicles. It doesn't really matter which one, all of them will work. So once you are at the test track vehicle, just press F on keyboard and you'll see this menu to enter the test track alone or with friends. So just leave it at the menu and then press P to go into your pause menu straight away, enlarge your map and do a job teleport to somewhere nearby. After you press OK on this, this alert page, you will have to spam enter so that you will enter the test track vehicle at the same time. Now once you're loading up, spam your right mouse button just to quit the job as quickly as you can. So if you were actually quick enough, you will spawn back onto the map at the job circle which you have chosen. Now at this point, you will not see any vehicles or any NPCs. You may be able to hear sounds though, but you won't be able to see anything, not even your own vehicle. From here on, make your way to the nearest uh, ammunition. I'm just going to run to the nearest one because it's pretty close by. Once you're here, just enter the ammunition and go into the armor menu. You don't have to purchase anything, just go in and come back out. And this will make everything visible again. So humans, NPCs, cars, they're all back and you can see them. So from here, you make your way back to your vehicle and use that to go to your nightclub. Now remember which garage that you actually drove your vehicle out from because once you reach a nightclub, you will have to re-enter the same garage on the same level with the same vehicle. So here I am back at the nightclub and since I brought it out from my B2 garage, I am going to go back to the same one. So once you have selected, you should see a flashing screen like this. Just press F and the game will actually drop you outside the nightclub. Now before I carry on with this glitch, I want to show you something really funny. Now after you glitch into this, you can actually see yourself on your Mark II Oppressor if you're driving one, right outside the nightclub. So I think it's trying to go somewhere, but I really don't know where it's going to go. And I think that is quite an interesting sight to see. Now continuing with the glitch, I'll just go on to the sidewalk over here and I'll open up my interaction menu, go to inventory and call out my RC Bandito. Now this glitch is at the point whereby you may drop through the map. So calling out your RC Bandito and then pressing F to exit will stop you from falling through the map later. So you need to remember to do this. Well, apparently my clone is gone. I was trying to look for it. After you exit from the RC Bandito, you will spawn back on the map and you see yourself flash like this. Now for those of you who do not know, if you're going to do gift cards to friends, this is the moment where you are already glitched out for that and you can go to the gift cards to friends spot and start transferring reels and liveries and mods if you wish to do so. But if not, just keep watching the video and I'll show you the remaining steps to actually glitch yourselves out for the arcade merges. So for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to do any further job warps until the time we hit the arcade glitch. So I just called out my vehicle and I'm going to make my way to the vehicle warehouse. So once you have reached the vehicle warehouse, all you need to do is just walk into the main entrance. Now for some of you, if you get stuck in an infinite loading screen, then you probably would have to restart this all the way from the beginning. But if you don't, you will eventually load into the special vehicle's garage with everything including yourself invisible. Just like this. So we just wait until you're visible again and then you can make your way out of the special vehicle warehouse.
now that you're outside. What you're gonna wanna do next is to call a bike, which you will enter the LS car meet with. Now you can use cars because they work as well, but I use bikes specifically simply because I actually think they work better. So any bike will do. It doesn't have to be a Shotaro, it doesn't have to be a Body 801, it doesn't have to be any specific bike, it just has to be a bike that is a personal vehicle. Now I'm just going to stop here for a while and let you know that in this state, you actually cannot jump, you cannot pull out a weapon, and you actually cannot run too, you can only walk. So you can check for that before you actually enter the LS car meet. Now once you enter the LS car meet, you will be parked in one of the parking spaces over here. What you will need to do next is to basically get back on your vehicle and then exit the LS car meet and press the G button when you spawn outside. So if you got that right, you will spawn into a derelict looking LS car meet, which uh, everything is empty, you can't really see anything and there are no lights. All you need to do from here is to exit and it will bring you outside again. Now spawning outside, you will not be able to move your bike. You can turn the handle or you can turn your wheels uh, if you're using a car, but the vehicle will stay put. Now what you're gonna wanna do next is to head towards your arcade. So my arcade is just up the street and I'm just going to steal a street car and head there. So in essence, you have already hit the glitch. And what I wanna show you next is how to actually transfer F1 wheels or Benny's wheels or even liveries onto your vehicles. So this will work on just about any vehicle that you can call out to become an active personal vehicle and that will include aircraft. Using this arcade glitch, you can also put performance mods onto special vehicles which normally wouldn't be able to enter uh, custom shops. Things like your Armored Roxville, your Wastelander, and even your Phantom Wedge can be customized. Now the first vehicle I'm going to call out, it will be my Previon. This is actually from the Tuners update and I got a second copy of the Previon as a prized vehicle. So it is pretty much stock with an additional livery that the game has given me. So what I'm going to do with this car is I'm going to put F1 wheels on this and I'm also going to glitch on an unreleased livery that is specifically for this vehicle just using this arcade glitch. A lot of you may know how to do this already, but some of you don't. So I'm just going to go through the entire process so that you know how to do it properly as long as you're listening in to the instructions. So now that your target vehicle is your active vehicle, just make your way to the back of the arcade and into the arcade garage. So once inside, I'm going to head towards the Maxwell Vagrant as that's the vehicle that you're going to use to glitch on liveries for almost any other car. Just remember that only certain cars can glitch on certain liveries. Some cars have special liveries and some don't. So you will see that your car is actually not on the map anymore. Don't worry about that. It is still the active vehicle and the arcade glitch will still work on this. As long as your target vehicle is your active personal vehicle, you will be able to perform this glitch. So the reason why I use the Maxwell Vagrant is because it has the most amount of liveries up to 31. Now once you are in the vehicle, just press G and it will take you through this under the map weird graphic before putting you directly into a mod shop. Now this mod shop is actually the one that is inside at the LS car meet, but we've gotten it glitched so you actually can access it over here. So all the unreleased liveries from the Previon they would be from number 12 to number 16. And the one I'm looking for is number 14, which is this one. And all you have to do is just to buy it. Over here, if you wish to change the license plates or the license color, you can do that as well. Once you're done, once you are done, you can just exit. Now, after you're done with that, you will see that your target vehicle has come out onto the map again. So it's good practice over here that if you wish to glitch multiple items onto your target vehicle, every time you're done with one, just return the vehicle to storage, like what I am going to do now, before I start using another vehicle to glitch on wheels for the target vehicle. 
So for the Previon, I already put on a livery. Now I want to put on F1 wheels and we'll be using this F1 vehicle. So just get into the vehicle and then press G to activate the mod shop again. So over here inside the F1 vehicle, you can just go to the wheel section and you can select the type of wheels or the type of F1 wheels you wish to put on your vehicle. So just navigate your way to the wheel section, select race and you can choose any of the wheels over here. Just remember that over here you can also choose the type of custom tire colors that you want. And again, once you're done, just exit and you will be placed back into the arcade. Now what I'm going to show you next is how to purchase cheap performance mods for your vehicles. But again, before I do that, I will return the vehicle to storage. And you can actually see that I store a street vehicle here. It's one of those cheap ones you can actually get off the street. And you will find that vehicles like these will allow you to put on performance mods way cheaper than the auto shop. So for performance mods, we would go for armor, brakes, engine, the transmission, as well as turbo. You may also want to change the lights over here because they actually have all the special color lights, but those lights are not cheap anyway. So if you're actually short on money, you can use this neat trick to upgrade your cars without having to pay all that much. But just remember when you do the arcade glitch, it is preferable that you actually have custom plates because the plates for these vehicles that you're using to glitch will transfer over to your target vehicle. And if you do not have custom plates, your target vehicle will be flagged as a duplication. And honestly, the, the game can actually detect that. So we've done liveries, we've done F1 wheels, and we've done uh, performance mods. Now the next one I would want to show would be Benny's wheels, because uh, it is not as simple as the rest of these uh, mods. So I'm going to show you step by step what you actually need to do before you can actually get Benny's wheels on your target vehicles as well. So we'll just exit the arcade, go outside and call in a vehicle that we would want Benny's wheels on. Now this would actually apply to almost any vehicle in the game as well as long as it's a personal vehicle. That would actually apply to special vehicles from the nightclub, the facility and even aircraft. Just take note that for aircraft, you cannot put performance mods on if they were previously converted from Pegasus aircraft. So here I have my Blazer Aqua, which is a special vehicle, and it already has F1 wheels on. Now we're going to change these to Benny's wheels once we get inside the arcade. So once inside the arcade, what you should do next is to actually return this vehicle to storage and then get into a Benny's vehicle. So you can use any Benny's vehicle that can actually go into your arcade, that's fine. It doesn't have to be the one that I'm using. So just press G when you get into the Benny's vehicle. And when you're here, just change something on the license plate, whether it can be a custom plate or a color of the plate. And right after you have done that, you can exit the menu. What you're going to want to do next is to go outside of the arcade to look at your personal vehicle, which is now a clone of the Benny's vehicle which you just came out of. So using this, since your target vehicle or the Blazer Aqua in my case is currently a Benny's vehicle as uh, far as the game can see it, you can drive this vehicle all the way to Benny's uh, garage and you can apply Benny's wheels onto the vehicle. It's a pretty long drive depending on where your arcade is. I just hope that your arcade is not in Sandy Shores or Polito Bay in that instance. So once you reach Benny's Garage, just go straight in and when the menu pops up, you can actually start choosing the wheels from the wheel section. You can also opt to change license plates and the license plate colors. So I'm just going to choose a set of rims that I like together with the colors as well as the custom tires. 
I would recommend to put on uh, bulletproof tires as well because that will work for every vehicle. And once you are done, you can exit the menu. Alright, so we've done all these uh, merges. It's time to see how they hold up. I'm just going to go to creator mode and then back to online and show you the vehicles which I just modded using the arcade glitch just to show you that the mods do merge or transfer and that this seriously works. Now because of the arcade glitch, even when you go to creator and spawn back online, you will still be somehow glitched whereby you cannot draw a weapon and you actually cannot jump too. Plus, you also will not be able to use the mechanic to call your cars because your mechanic will just say no, it's not available. And this will not be cleared until you actually exit the game and come back online again. So just be aware of that. So I'm just going to use my interaction menu, going to vehicles and I'll call in my Blazer Aqua. And as you can see here, the Blazer Aqua does have the, the Benny's wheels that I put on, as well as the color and the custom tires. So now in order to show you the Previon, I will need to do a job teleport all the way to the auto shop, but I'm just going to give a mechanic another try. And he still refuses to answer my call. Okay, let's do a job teleport to the auto shop. And we'll just run into the auto shop and take a look at the Previon. Well, I mean, I know that this works, but I have to show you within the same video and the same session that it actually works and I'm not just saying it. I know that this makes the video much longer, but I do know that some of you out there require proof. So here I am in my auto shop and the Previon is right there. So most of my vehicles in the auto shop here have gone through the arcade glitch so I can actually get colored stock wheels and unreleased liveries especially. So here's a Previon and it has the F1 wheels as well as the unreleased livery. But in order to show you that the performance mods have transferred, I will bring this vehicle into the custom shop just to show you. So from here you can see that the armor has already been upgraded. So has the brake and the engine. And next would be the lights. And finally, the suspension, the transmission, and of course, turbo. So you would have managed the glitch for tires and liveries, plus save a little money on the engine upgrades. I'm sorry for the long video, but this is how it is done. And do look out for my next video, which will show you more examples from the arcade glitch just to show you how versatile this is. Please do drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you thought that this was helpful. With that, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.